Welcome to the live stream. Today we have about 25 different fragrances to talk about. Ten of them you probably have never heard of. We're going to start right away with the first brand new release. It's called, there's Kevin Hawthorne. No, it's called Auris by Aribiat, made on 628.23 batch code. Bottle is about two pounds, looks like this. And the fragrance is actually... Dominant notes of Ambroxan luxury fragrance to remind you of Bulgari Tiga. I've never tried that. To me, if Bulgari Tiga is a light, refreshing musk with lots of Ambroxan, a touch of grapefruit, then this would be it. So if I'm, look at that. Oh my God, yeah, it does have that touch of grapefruit. It smells like musky grapefruit, musk like clean, refreshing, tight musk, like longevity insanity with this thing but it's light it's um just a very light like not too much project it projects too it's not going to say light but it's like a light fragrance as opposed to a woody strong fragrance like a new fragrance it's a green citrus musk very light like bleu de chanel it mixes to me it mixes bleu de chanel with bulgari tiger it has a huge scent trail like strong enormous it's very luxurious masculine sophisticated masculine and it is brand new it's called a a o r i z and it comes in a big beautiful box that looks like this Next fragrance is called Michael Malal Heartland. Use Malal 60 code for 60% off anything Michael Malal makes on the website right here. This is called Heartland. If you can see it, it's a fragrance that is very green and woody with a subtle touch of spice. It's kind of invigorating, you know, the green notes and the spice and the musk. It's one of those sophisticated fragrances, you know, you'd wear to work. It's got a pressurized spray. Very easy to wear. Very nice blended, like um, all around good aroma fragrance for everyday use. It has a place for every single day blind buy. I would buy this for uh, my opinion is it's a good mature like 40 and over type fragrance the next fragrance is fire i couldn't wait to get to it but might come along for 60 percent off i think that is pretty good i see you actorious thank you almighty ru prajeep best clone dupe for angel share yes we're going to get to all your questions and comments thank you very much for spending your saturday morning with me saturday afternoon in some places i will not waste any more of your time let's go let's go let's go let's go this is the one that you wanted to hear about. It's called, well, the first one I want to show you is called, I call it Tuxedo, but it's not Tuxedo. It's called Nail King. It's a red bottle. Look at that cool looking wolf right there. This has coriander, bergamot, black pepper, lily of the valley, and bourbon vanilla, right? Um, no, I'm, I'm mistaken. This Nail King. Oh, I made a mistake. This one is the, this is called Tuxedo. It's got bergamot, black pepper, lily of the valley, and, and bourbon vanilla. Okay, so here is Tuxedo, and here is Nail King. What is the difference? Not much. There's not much difference in that. This thing here, Nail King, is like serious room filling beast mode. Everyone's going to say, oh, my God, you got enough cologne on? If you wear three sprays of this, if I was to spray it right now, this whole room will fill up. If you have a kitchen, an apartment, a bedroom, you could spray it three shots and it will stay in your bedroom longer than Lysol, longer than any air freshener you ever had. Like five hours later, you come back home, you're like, dang, it does work. Imagine what it does on your skin. It lasts 12 hours. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's got a caramelized rose note. You get lots of dark, you get fruity touches of cognac, dried plum, ginger, leather. The oud is very, very lightly placed in here. Nile oud is what it's called. Nile oud is what it's called. I think they should have called it Nile King, but they called it Nile oud. I'm sorry about that. But Nile 
Oud smells like YSL Yves Saint Laurent rare tuxedo, which is discontinued. It's stronger and probably longer lasting. Don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is $60. This is $300 if you can find it, you know. They've already made another fragrance, this company here, that replicates Baby Cat. It's sold out. It is on fire. The next one is called Nile King. It's right here. Sorry. It gets confusing when you get lots of brand new fragrances, but we'll go over them. This is my, I have tested them all in all different tropical, hot weather, cold weather, air conditioned weather. This is an absolute powerhouse as well. It'll fill up any room just like the Nile Oud and it will last for hours on hours and hours. Longevity is eternal. If you put it on your clothes, it'll not go off your clothes. It'll stick on. You can let it macerate. I did let it macerate for like two days. But right off the box, it started becoming, hello, Rob King, very strong. Now, the notes for this is pear, pink pepper, tuberose, ylang ylang, jasmine. It's slightly, I can you can say it's feminine because it's trying to be like YSL Supreme Bouquet, but still a man can wear it if you like creamy, syrupy, two rows. Because the syrupy part is kind of spicy and delicious. It's a light floral fragrance, but we're talking about if you were buying the most expensive oriental fragrance florals anywhere found, that's what this would be in. YSL Supreme Bouquet smells like Nile King Beast Mode on a Budget. Let's talk to a few people. We're going to put these three away. Just to recap what I just said. Nile Oud. Nile Oud. Get it. Smells like tuxedo. I bet you you'll love it. It's strong touch of Oud. Nile King. Smells like YSL Supreme Bouquet. Both the Niles are blow up. Like blow up. I'm serious. Blow up a room. Blow up your skin. Blow up on clothes. Longevity projection is true beast mode on a budget and as well as this one we just talked about which is a combination of bulgari tiga with blue de chanel and later i will make a proper video so you can see it and fast you know faster and more detailed this is hard to do on a live stream just picking them up the next fragrance is called easy e it's like ten dollars but it's only one ounce i eight to nine hours on this little thing it comes in a ball it smells like isimiyaki eight to nine ten hours i got out of this crazy like fresh air weather isimiyaki is citrus and yutsu lemon okay old school fragrance who i still don't understand why anyone wants to dupe it it's not 2006 or 2001 back then they would make this one fragrance called ec miami and that was like 20 dollars. but whatever Let's go up to the comments real quick and say hi to Kevin. Kevin Hawthorne, how are you? You're in Florida. We got Rob King here. We got Pradeep. Keeps asking the same question. We got F. Torres. Good afternoon, Uncle Chris. Almighty Rue. What's up, big dog? Pradeep, best dude for April. Sure. Can someone tell him? Harris Mamba. Hello from your Greek friend. Hey, how you doing, Mamba? Other good Batari tire curls, La Tapa Al Kiam Silver and Armaf Caballo. Armaf Caballo is a Bulgari Tiger clone? I didn't realize that. Cool. Armaf Caballo is a Bulgari Tiger clone. It's got a horse on the box. It's I always thought it was very fresh and aromatic and de decent. My friend Kel Torres, how's your young baby doing? What do you think of Body Al Oud for Glory? Anybody can answer that person's question. Help a guy out. Tanner. Hey, man, I just received my order. Thank you. Thank you for all the free gifts. We'll definitely be ordering from you again in the future. Thank you so much, Tanner, for supporting your channel. All the profits go right back to you to give you more gifts for everyone else. That's how we do it here. Hey, we got Hala Tank 007, Halloween Man X opinion. Lovely coffee, roasted whiskey fragrance. Delicious. Love Halloween Man X. Love it. Next fragrance uh, we're going to talk about is called Bakaraban Phantom. If you like the notes of vanilla with some smoke and earthiness you'll love this people don't like it because the price right they don't like it because it's a corny bottle marketing i don't know who it markets to but it comes out of his head 
I think it smells lovely, like for everyday use or youthful energy. Not bad, okay? Pakaraban. Now I found this one. It's called AI Chat GPT, but it's actually called AI. It's called New AI. They are totally duping this guy out. Totally dupe. New AI smells like Pakaraban Phantom beast mode it lasts longer than this and projects more but it doesn't smell better in my opinion i love the smell of this because it has some nice um smoky undertones in the paco raban i never go off on a designer when i'm letting you know this is a powerhouse fragrance it projects like crazy and it smells like the lemon and uh, all the other notes that are in paco raban now we must hydrate next fragrance i found two more this is a banger eight hours longevity this is called fawa by nilsuk smells identical to this with the earthy tones with the smoke it's like 2x stronger an egyptian version of this on a budget it's like 30 40 bucks or something and finally, my favorite one is because it's well balanced. My favorite one to wear would be called RMF Imperia. It's a brand new gold edition. It has the smoky undertones, the earthy, the vanilla, the lemon, delicious. Very easy to wear by a cool brand. It's a limited release, so they make Imperia Gold limited edition. They do make something called Imperia and Eternia that looks like this, but you want the gold bottle to remind you of Paco Rabanne Phantom. <coughs> Next question, Mohammed Danwood. Is there a good alternative to La Nuit de Loma Bleu Electrique? Um, by the way, the website sells the real Bleu de Electrique. You get 10% off by clicking Live 10 Discount. And you can buy it. It's like 120 so you'll get 12 bucks off. <laughs> Okay, we got a few more new ones and a whole bunch to go. Should I get moving on it? Let's do it. The next one is called <clears throat> Ares Intense. This is an Angel Share clone <coughs> without the cognac. Excuse me, I got a dry throat. I just got off the live stream of Amazon. Can you believe it? <coughs> I was on there for 40 minutes Eyes <laughs> Intense Smells like Angel Share If you can find this fragrance It lasts 12 hours It lasts 4 days on skin It's a sweeter version when it dries down There's just a hint of cognac It doesn't have that beautiful cognac Like some of the other ones But the performance level The projection the sillage is out of this world boombastic, okay? This guy says, another way, trucker, is there any clones for one million? Try RMF, tag him, prestige edition. That's a one million clone. I'm a young guy and smelling better than my brothers. What is absolute secret you'd give a young guy to smell fresh and clean? Well... Don't buy this, that's for sure. But the secret to smell fresh and clean, here's a secret. It's a really good one, too. If you can afford it, get this Skandal. It's got citrus. It's got some vetiver. It's a little bit mature, but it's it's clean. It's not at all uh, what you would say fresh and clean, but it's unique and sexy, and you'll smell better than them. It's by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And if you can't afford it, you get this. Mandarin Sky. This is a hot fragrance. See this? Odyssey RMAF Mandarin Sky Limited Edition. Smells just like it. And you will get noticed. And those are easy to wear fragrances. Another one you could try is called Urban Man Elixir by RMAF. And that one smells like Dior Sauvage with a slight little twist. And it's delicious. Back to this one, Ari's Intense, smells like Angel Share without the cognac, but does have cognac. The next fragrance is called Ishtar 
amber vanilla let's see what is this amber vanilla i know i tested it amber vanilla amber vanilla hmm amber vanilla oh yeah It just smells like amber vanilla, but it is extremely strong. We're going to have to get back to this because I just opened it. I forgot. It. I got too many here. I, I'm sorry. I'm very disorganized today. But this one I did test out. Now, on their website, I was on this website. They said that this is a Cedra Boise clone, and I would disagree and say more of a Creed Aventus clone. However, eight hours later, later, the dry down of this is called Ishtar Citrus Ooh, the dry down. Did have that little bit of sweetness like a Cedra Boise gives you. But ultimately, this is an incredible beast mode fragrance that has bursting pineapple, black currant, apple, lots and lots of green notes, lots of Birkwood, P I R C H, melon. It's got patchouli, jasmine, cyclamen. It's got neroli, and you can smell it might it might have a touch of oud in there it's so strong it's anchored by ambergris umbroxin and leather it's a very very fine fragrance when it matures its sweetness diminishes so it's got that pineapple fresh and it definitely transforms into something else definitely if you buy this ishtar citrus oud it'll thrive in tropical weather 200 degrees 130 degrees for four hours won't even hurt it you can go swimming it'll probably still be on your skin but it does work like wonders if you're in cold weather these fragrances i'm showing you the the niel brand and the citrus brand are on fire like they will not go off your skin it's remarkable i've never had anything that's such a good price that's so strong and it with this thing lingers for days on clothes a few sprays again i was thinking like i sprayed it just to get so when i buy the fragrance i spray it out like this and i'm gonna be sorry later but it's pressurized sprayer the bottle weighs two pounds and you can smell exactly almost like hasivat actually when you think about it right off the get it's like really strong pungent that pineapple you know and you know you instantly you got an event this was real strong like you like you're used to like a not only intense or something the powerhouse this is a powerhouse and then later 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 if you try it on at nine then about four o'clock you'll think it's said drop was a little bit something sweeter nicer but i love this fragrance now if anybody wants this fragrance or anything i just talked about Go there for $60 and get yourself live 10 discount, 10% off. I would really appreciate it. It helps out the community. And one more thing. On the live stream and for people that are re-watching this after Saturday, or the, today is Saturday, September 23rd, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're watching this for the next, till Monday at 5 o'clock, I'm going to say, if you do purchase that and take advantage of the live 10 discount, you can add this fragrance for free. There's only 15 left. So the next 15 people will get one free if they want to add it. If you don't add it and tell me, yeah, I forgot to add it. Well, I'm sorry. You don't get it. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. I'm not trying to be a DIC, but you know, that's how it goes. And then I was playing around with this fragrance called My Here Legacy. Does anyone like this fragrance at all? It's got that, is it like that real fresh aquatic powerhouse it's like thirty dollars by la tapa also coming up in uh future videos i've got this fragrance i really liked it i haven't really tested it i just smelled it it's called 1821 absolute mahogany okay absolute mahogany smells to me like bleu de chanel to tell you the truth let's go back and say i'm a young man okay yeah we just talked to you yeah, Rob, you should get that Nail King. You should definitely get it. Nail Oud, I mean. For Angel Share La Tafa Hamra. There's your answer. Hello from Thailand. Never say goodbye. 
Caballo is one of the free samples you sent me. Good to know it's a tiger clone smell. Great. All right, Tanner. I actually like the bottle. I like the bottle of Toy Boy. Here we have Rob King. La Tapa Hayate El Meki versus AI, which is better. I can't really remember that. Maleki only tried it once. But that AI just like I sprayed it and I was thinking it comes in this elaborate suitcase as a matter of fact the boxing is crazy it comes inside a, a, a like a titanium briefcase and it's got a plain white box the box looks so cheesy I was like oh this is gonna be cheesy but remember the Paco Rabanne fragrance that looked like this in the old days it's a crazy and then you spray it and I'm gonna, oh my god at first at first that's why i thought i was like i don't know about this because it smells you have to wait it's like club mentally intense like you it's all chemically and then later right now i can't smell anything because i sprayed too much the room is engulfed so i can't even tell you but it, like 10 minutes 15 minutes later you're outside thing is humming off my skin it's like so loud and later and later and i'm going there's no way this thing is doing all that is projecting that off i did it one spray like that and it was on there for hours and hours but the first two hours is just shooting everywhere off one spray off my hand it was insane that's why i think it's a crazy fragrance but it's a lot more lemon vanilla without the smoky undertones just so you know and this one has the smoky undertones like crazy called fawa and this one is the most well balanced and i would if i remember right this is way better than la tafa i can tell you that because i can barely remember that one i can just remember it was plain simple vanilla citrus fragrance like this hey erica's here hope you're having a great weekend unc erica transpatrick oh how you doing erica millennial i nautica voyage is great for a young guy on a budget if i had to pick one cologne yes for the guy nautica voyage that's a great idea for that young guy i was trying to get him leveled up you, you got a better idea mr vaughn gary adams says anything close to plata luna rosa back uh, aside from cargo nui prada you want to smell like prada luna rosa black there's a old school fragrance by caron called caron de nui it smells like Prada Luna Rosa Black. It's probably 40 bucks, so it's Prada Luna Rosa Black's like 100. Millennium Eye. Okay, got it. I'm going to check it out. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, Annette. How are you doing? Mandarin Sky is fantastic. He gets tons of compliments on it. John Paul Prasad, could you recommend alternative to Oud Satin Mood? Someone can help him with that. There used to be one by and for it was really good tanner spaulding aris intense is actually another one of those free samples you sent me oh oh i sure did oh okay good thank you tanner i forgot i sent you so much stuff <laughs> all right millennium i nautical voyage is a banger what is this millennium i oh that's a new one i've heard of nautica voyage I've never heard of Millennium I Nautical Voyage, and I've heard of Voyage N83. What is Millennium I Nautical? Is that a Nautica fragrance? Can you please, someone help me and ask answer that question? Millennium I Nautical Voyage, is that a Nautica fragrance? We have a clone for Valentino Corel. Yeah, we know you do. Um, it's called La Tafa's Winter Circle Silver. John Carlo Burton. Hey, what's up? John Carlo, how are you? How are you doing today? Larry Alan Molinier. Hello, Unc. Is that Alan Mol Molinier, the guy I know from the islands? How are you doing? I'm very intrigued by your description of the Ishtar Oud. Yes, you should be. It's incredible. I'm giving you, in my opinion, this is advanced information of fragrances that quite possibly could blow up very soon man maybe in the next six months maybe in the next two years it took two years for 9 p.m to blow up but i think it's the same style of fragrance that really has the potential 
of super hypeness and then they'll go crazy on it. everyone is going to go crazy on it once they find out if they really test it thoroughly anyone can translate that i'd be appreciative viking is amazing gem oh you like that viking that's cool need some coffee beans handy unk <laughs> um yeti unk what's yeti what does yeti mean and scent of the day is tux for fuzz man hey fuzz man just in case you missed it i got the the tux right here it's called ysl Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo Patchouli. That's the one everyone talks about right here. But the but the guys are buying this now. Nile Oud to smell like tuxedo. Banger blows up the room. And this one here is called Nile King, like Yves Saint Laurent Supreme Bouquet. One for you, one for the wife. You got yourself a deal. It's fire. Blowing up a room, hit it up, 10% off, add yourself a free Viking too. I'm telling you, Restreamers, if you buy any of these $60 or more, you can add yourself this cologne. Rob King just said it's a cool little hidden gem. That's like $30 or $40 normally, and you'll add it free because I'm trying to help my friend who's launched this company. I'm trying to help him, but I tested him. I've tested all of his stuff, and these are the ones I picked. He has 200 fragrances, like, and I... I pick the ones that I like and they surely do work. If they don't work, I'm not talking about them. Plain and simple. Just so you know, that's transparency for you guys, okay? Thank you so much for listening to me. Hey, Greg Grand, sent to the day is RMF Legacy. You King Yeti, I'm in the chat and you have sent me the pool boy sample. Ah. Oh, I see. Now you're Eric uh, Transpatrick. <laughs> that's pretty I don't know what to say to that. Unk, what's the best Armani Code clone? Armani Code clone. I'll put out a video soon with that answer to you. Okay, so I hope everyone's having a great weekend. I hope you all do very well. Have a nice dinner. Hydrate. And remember, just breathe and relax if something bothers you it's not the end of the world if someone curses at you the best way to beat them is like this they get even more mad but i'm just at least no rent is allowed in your head okay when you're arguing on weekends people are all drinking and arguing and stuff I'm trying to help the community out as best as i can peace and love have a great weekend love you guys